So you talked about fall camp. Like, what's so you did four fall camps here? Yeah, and one there. So like, what's the what's what was the biggest difference from fall camp here to fall camp there? Dude, like, bro. <laughs> Oh man, our first day was uh, we flipped it. So we would meet from like six thirty to eight, come back, and then bro, we were in cleats, jerseys, and helmets again that night on the on the field outside, and we had like an eight period practice at night. So it was literally a two a day, and we walked inside, and all of us are like, I mean, there's there's no way, like there's no way we can do this for twenty straight days. But a lot of the guys were still kind of shocked because it was so different apparently from Coach Leach. But it was, I mean, it's identical to what we did at Georgia. Doing it again? Ah! Got it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Before we get into the nice episode, we would really like you guys to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment about my guy's shorts even if you want to. It's on you. <laughs> those, those ain't no shorts. Those, those are some tights. <laughs> uh, it looks like some of these girls don't tell. Jeez. Boy. Jeez. <laughs> So tonight on the pod, we have a we have a guy that's very pivotal around here. He's been around. He's been around here a couple of times. Here, you no, know, he's he's the guy that got this started up and running. Um, big monument of this of this podcast, Mister Rylan Goaty himself. Before you start, I got a question for you. All right, what's the question? How does it feel to have the second best real talk podcast? Uh, I mean. Hey, we're one big family. That's all I got. That's all I, that's all I got for you. Hey, I will. I will tell you a pretty cool story. So we uh, uh, we had a, a guy on named Scott Lashley this week who played uh, played ball at Bama and then played here at State and then played for the Saints for a year. And li- dude, listen to this crazy story. So he he takes he takes his senior year here, plays, ends up thinking he's done playing ball. Big old left tackle, huge dude. I mean, huge. Goes into strength and conditioning for a year. Ends up seeing he, he, he's good friends with Cochran. Cochran's like his his dog. Ends up seeing Cochran at our game at state last year. And Cochran's like, bro, you need to you need to go train and you go take a shot at the next level. And this guy's already had like six knee surgeries. He's like, I don't know, like I'm hurt, no, no, no. And Cochran convinces him to go train. So he goes and trains. Ends up jumping like a 30 inch vertical. He's like 340, bro. Jumps like a 30 inch vertical. A nine ten broad runs like a four nine, and didn't even have an agent. And the next day, got like fifteen calls. Ends up sign or getting an invite to uh, rookie camp with the Saints. Goes down, balls out, and uh, they call him in the head coach's office. And uh, the head coach is like, "Hey man, like you know, congratulations. We love what you did. You know, after your physical, we'll, we'll get you. Uh, we'll get you some papers, and, and you're in your own state. And he's like, "Congratulations." So he's calling all his family. He's like, "Yo, like I made it. Like." We're here. We did it. Next morning, wakes up, does his physical. The trainer's like, all right, you're good for us. They got they signed three guys out of 60 that were there. So he goes, and they sit down right outside the GM's office, all three of them. First one goes up in there with his ID, signs. Second guy gets up goes in there. And then he gets ready to go to the third guy. He stands up, and the GM actually walks out with uh, one of the front, front office guys. And they're like, hey, man, you know, like, Sorry, what we told you yesterday, but the numbers aren't just working out. So, you know, unfortunately, we're going to have to let you go. And within, I mean, a, a 20 hour span, not a 24, 20 hour span. So, bro goes goes back to Atlanta to connect his flight back to uh, Alabama or Mississippi, goes to Atlanta. They call him as soon as he lands in Atlanta. And uh, they're like, yo, where are you at? And he's like, I'm, I'm in Atlanta. I got a six hour layover. I'm just in the airport. Like, all right, bet we're we're buying you a flight back to back to New Orleans. They're like, you signed me, and they're like, we'll talk about it when you get here. So he hops on a different flight back to New Orleans. The guys waiting for him at the airport. And he ended up signing the papers in the airport. That's was a wild dude. Wild. Is that the dude that, probably, Is that the guy that was at the um? Who no, who's the guy that he played in the league for? Like, he played for the Jags. Ended up doing a uh, pro day with somebody. It was like he changed his whole body. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. I can't think of his name. That's not him. that's not him though, is it? No, no, no. That's not. Guy's name. I can't remember where his where his pro day was. He was at Bama. 
that's what he did in front of Alabama. Mm-hmm. Everybody was because everybody was talking about um, yeah. Bryce, and they're like, "No, we need to look at this dude." Was, he was like, "I remember that. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember his name, but I know who you're talking about." Dude, talk about talk about specimens. I mean, think about who was that dude that played for uh, Baylor? Oh, the defensive tackle, Desmond Watson. Yeah. Or Desmond Watson. Uh, so happy to talk about that. Bro was an animal dog. I saw a tweet about him the other day. He like dog. What was his name? He was Samoan, wasn't he? No, not V. You're thinking about no. Vita. Vita Vale went to Washington. This uh Oakman. Top top on my, Sean I mean, Oakman. Oakman. Sean Oakman. Oakman. No, Siaki Ika. Yeah, he's no not not Siaki. He's like he's thinking about he's talking about the guy that was there around the Robert Griffin the third era. I think I'm talking about Sean Oakman too. The six nine defensive end? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the guy that weighed like, like four hundred pounds. That dude. No, not him. Yeah, Sean Oakland. Okay, we, okay. we just had a guy take a picture of us from outside. <laughs> dude, I love God to the pod. Patrick, great job with the set, bro. It looks amazing. Patrick, but can we talk that Patrick looks even better? I mean, can we get a, we got to get a, a camera up here from from Patrick. Come on, let's let's see what we're working with. I got the flow going. Shout out to Tate and Zion to some headbands. <laughs> 69 jersey and i had to show off the thighs here got the shorty shorts on my god howdy i said you know when you don't have a house to decorate shout out state farm for doing nothing yeah when you don't have a house to decorate for fall you decorate your words <laughs> you gotta do. Oh, man. dude I, I i ain't gonna lie i would kill for one of those cups of coffee right now dude well, you want to taste it out for old for old time's sake i've laid yeah. off, i've laid off, i've i've kind of tried to lay off the caffeine here lately really I beat myself dude. Your body's made of caffeine. It got to the point where a 300 milligram energy drink just didn't do anything for me. That's so a bad what do you deal. Consider bro. laying off. Like what? What is? What is? What do you average now a day? Probably around 200, maybe. Is that like I felt terrible. A rain and cup of coffee. At, no, a rain. 300 milligrams by itself. So I've got a, like a, I got a like two 12 packs full of them on top of my fridge, and I just haven't touched them. So you like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I've gotten more to the coffee. Gotten more coffee. It usually goes that way when it gets cold. I move to a cup of coffee in the morning instead of just going straight 300 milligram energy drink. Yeah, shout out Pathios, man. No, I make coffee guru, bro. Like it's 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 every day. We, it's every day. I, I really, I really just like changed your whole view of coffee because yeah, you did. the first like four episodes that we had this on here, you would not touch it, and one day I got you to drink some. You're like. Oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> well, I think it was. I was tired. I already, I had already had like a rain or something, and then I had an ex- I had a cup of that, and I was like, "Oh, okay, too bad." Zillow just told me he's never had coffee in his life. Never. That's crazy. I'm trying to send you an Apotheos ad because Apotheos just opened up their first store, I think, in uh, Walmart. So they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be having, you know, at the front side, of, like past recheckout at Walmart, and that front wall. There's going to be Apotheos coffee shops inside a bunch of Walmarts around the Atlanta area. So that's awesome. Shout out, no free shout outs, but um, Apotheos coffee at your local Walmart. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. That's huge. That's huge. Well, how, how's old uh, Starkville been treating you? Stark, Stark Vegas. Vegas. Stark Vegas, baby. Uh, it's a complete 180 from Athens. I'll tell you that. It's a much slower paced life, which has been good. Um, the food here is unbelievable. I'll tell you that. And they have fresh chocolate milk and milk from the the, the cow pasture is about five minutes outside of here. So, like, they have a... a uh, yeah, we have fair life. That's not even real milk. Dude, we have a, a dairy and, like, meat store on that's, campus. That's amazing. From campus. And, dude, dude, like, it's, un- it's a game changer. It's I mean, Collier, Collier always tells me that fair life's milk, like, real milk. Like, Collier, it literally says it doesn't have to be refrigerated. This is not real milk. That's a bad deal. Yeah. They change this milk like every two days because it, like, it goes bad so fast. Have you been to my but, favorite uh, spot down there recently? Oh, dude, I haven't. I haven't. I will I will here in about four, four or five weeks when we're in the off season. But yeah, this little off hole, hole one place that's really good. Talk about Staggered Inn. Staggered Inn, yeah, yeah. When I went down there on a visit, I, uh, I had like a break or something where I wasn't doing anything. So me and my dad were like, okay, we're going to get something to eat. So we asked around, like, what's a good place to eat? And one of the coaches told us, this place called the Staggered Inn was, and I got, we went, my dad got like a, a fried hamburger or something like that. And he loved it. And then I got, it was called the Topless Hot Chick. And it was like three pieces of Texas toast, fries, buffalo chicken tenders, and ranch and queso. And it was 
phenomenal. So good, dude. So good. That's funny you said. My dad mentioned it the other day when they were here that we need to go back to the, back to that place. So place, good. place was really good, really good. Now we have two yeah. pictures taken of us. Somebody else just took a picture. Got walked past, came back, just did it a quarter of the door, and walks off. <laughs> People don't like. They usually don't take pictures when they walk by. They just kind of yell and shout, and stare. And, yeah. I don't the the worst of the people that stare. They just sit there and just look at yeah. I'm like, what's going on here? Like a group of or the, yeah, or the random drunk women that come in there and just Oh my god. Go, dude, yeah, that's I crazy. haven't had that interaction yet. I haven't heard about yeah. that. Oh, what? We had we had these three girls come in here and oh. one of them was like an older lady. Like two of them were like poly, do what? Two of them were like college days girls, right? Yeah, there were three college age girls and that random old lady. Yeah, there were three college age girls and then like this mom that came in there and started like going on a whole spiel about her divorce and everything. I mean, While y'all are shooting? While y'all are shooting? Yeah. While we're we're just sitting here like, what is going on? Didn't like what didn't wasn't like one of the girls about to go to court or something like that? Yeah, for and the mom that came in later was like Yeah, she was getting arrested the next day. of it. Yeah, yeah. she's like, This is a celebration for her arrest and we were like, What? And then this one lady like goes on talking like starts like complimenting me and Goaty and then starts talking about her divorce and like how shitty men are and everything. We're just like, what is going on? That was Eddie, the, you just nodded your head to that. That was the one episode I think that I, I, I think I had something, so I wasn't here for it. And um yeah, I I think I got a DM on the Real Talk Instagram that was like From her. Oh, yeah, from yeah. her. She's like, Hey, like, please don't post anything. I like she was she was very concerned about her own image. Yeah, I would have yeah, too. Like, she was exactly. she acted like a clown, and you weren't here for it. So you were like, I don't know how to respond. Like, what's going? Like, guys, fill me in. Yes, yeah, so I told Gody. I was like, Gody, you're gonna have to reply to this, man. I was like, I have no idea what happened. So, Gody, have y'all had yeah, bye week? Yeah, we had it. Uh, we had six games and then bye week. So we had it while y'all were playing bandy. Uh, does this season feel like it's going by as fast for you as it is like for us? Because I know me and Zillow have talked about it. This season feels like it's flying by. Yeah, it's for me. It was fall camp went a lot slower this year for me because it was so different. But the season's flying by, especially because I'm actually playing this year. So it just like it's just flying. So you talked about fall camp. Like what's so you did four fall camps here. Yeah, and one there. So like, what's the what's what was the biggest difference from fall camp here to fall camp there, dude? Like, bro. <laughs> All the a lot of the guys at first were really upset because, for example, our first our first day, oh man, our first day was your typical. Uh, except we flipped it, so we would meet from like six thirty to eight, and then have from like eleven to one off, come back, and then bro, we were in cleats, jerseys, and helmets again that night on the on the field outside, and we had like an eight period practice at night, so it was literally a two a day, and we walked inside, and all of us are like. I mean, there's, there's no way, like, there's no way we can do this for 20 straight days. And he ended up, he ended up adjusting it, but boy, like everybody was heated, especially after that. And then they kind of calmed down a little bit, but a lot of the guys were still kind of shocked because it was so different apparently from coach Leach, but it was, I mean, it's identical to what we did at Georgia. Like, it was, I mean, practice to schedule it even now, it's, you know, 12 periods, like it's, it's the exact same. Yeah. Did, did you ever hear about our scrimmage during fall camp? No, but I remember you telling me y'all had to do the stadium twice. We did have to do the stadium twice, but that's not even the thing. We had a scrimmage. It was scrimmage one. The hottest scrimmage I've ever been It was of. like they told me it was it felt like like the heat index was like one eighteen on the field. I'm talking like after like three plays, I remember looking at Zillow and we were both just like, What are we doing? No, but the Friday the Friday before the season started. We were in the stadium, Goaty. Three golf players fell out the same day, and we're out in the middle. We're out in the middle of the stadium at three, four o'clock, and we're just like we're in we're in flex. And I'm talking about just, just pouring, just oh. just flowing. I'm like, bro, is it supposed to be this hot? Like, or my or is it just me? It, it's like I got down on my stance and I felt like my back felt like it was cooking, and I was like, this shouldn't be happening right now. It was miserable. I like, I was that. dying before we even got to the scrimmage during scrimmage one. Oh, I'll never do. So, our first scrimmage, that, that, I mean, that's exactly how it was for us. Like, it was it was so bad that 
I think I played like 40 snaps or something. And then, I mean, I'm in a full body, just like heart attack is what it felt like. And I, we get done and we have mandatory cold tubs after. So we have to get in the cold tub. And I think probably 20 of us got out of the cold tub and laid down on the concrete outside for probably about 45 minutes before we even walked into our locker room. Cause everybody was just so dead. So yes. dead. Dude, and out here, like I know it's hot in Athens. It's, it's very close and very similar. But dude, there were some days out here where I was like, there's no way this is even humanly possible. This is hot. It was insane. I think it was Plus, we were, oh, dude, it was summer period. We went out to uh, one of the famous things out here is we went out to a farm a couple of days and we practiced out there. And it, there's no trees, there's no shade. It's literally just grassland. And they, hauled the tra like trailers out there for like the the clocks and stuff and boy when i tell you that's a mental day like if you get through that you're in the clear but that day is, those days are brutal so it's like practicing on the im fields or at the solar or at the solar panels yeah it's exactly the solar panels they have solar panels out there it's identical to what it was at georgia except Jeez. i've heard, heard more, it just, i wasn't here i wouldn't hear either but i would hear either but i've just the I am field that that team run gave me the solar panel field. Oh, like, yeah, that, we did. I know you remember that, Goaty. Is that twenty twenty one? Going in twenty twenty one season, yeah. they ran out of water. You remember that? The grass Dude. was like your like the grass was so high, your feet was just buried in it. It was like you you're trying to cut. I I remember somebody brought that up. Like this was like after I got hurt that year, and somebody was like, they were like talking about that team run, just like, just like shooting the shit, just like talking about stuff that's happened. I was like, I really. Did all of that just to get hurt the second place season? <laughs> Dude, I remember Delp. Delp was on a visit. He came on a visit that day and watched us do all that. And all of us, except for, I mean, Brock was of course being Brock and just rolling through it. But all of us were just, I mean, hurting. And Delp was, I mean, you could see it on his face. He was like, "Do I, do I want to come here?" Like, I don't know. we we were running those tempos, and I was just leaning forward to get enough momentum to get to the other side of the field. Uh, I was just picking my feet, just just hoping. Like it was just like like you felt like you were running. You look down and you're practically walking. <laughs> so bad, dude. Oh my god. We've we've had us some pretty uh pretty good practices this week, I would say. So I'm very it, like going back to 2021 Florida week when it was intense, when like sidelines yeah. were clearing. Like oh yeah, was, yeah. it went. I'm back not gonna lie, I hated practice. Zillow on Tuesday. It kind of went back to that practice, bro. Like I thought it was wrong. Like. like it was it was like thirty yards downfield. Like we were having to pull each other like across. It's like away from away from people. Like, it like was... offense would have a play. Like we're running on the field. Like like <laughs> so then vice versa. Like defense stops us. They're running on the field. Like Coach Smart's on the mic. Defense can't stop this. Da -da 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 -da. And we're we're three yards in the backfield. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm chirping at him. I'm like yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I was I was like I was like I hate Zelo right now. Hate him. That's awesome, dude. That's I, I, I look back on it like, that. If I look back on it like that, that week two years ago was probably my favorite week of practice ever in my life. But back to like kind of on track to what we we're talking about, I feel like that's what I like really like about our team right now is like we have a practice like that where we're like just going at it the whole day. And then like we get in the locker and we're all like best friends again. Yeah. Like even like during team run on Tuesday, I wanted to run across the field and drop kick Zelo at one point. And then we get in the <laughs> locker room and it's just like nothing happened. This, like this is how you knew it was going to be a great practice. We're in straight. We're in flex lines, and we're ta we're talking back and forth to each other. Like everybody, it's loud. Like usually, you know, it's kind of like quiet. It's Sinclair out there yelling, blowing his whistle, and he has like the uh, his like other strength coaches like trying to hype everybody up. But no, from the back of the line to the front of the line, everybody was talking, and like that's how I knew it was gonna be a great practice. God, it's a good feeling, man. That's something like, that's exciting. Like, we're starting. And like team run was like, it wasn't one sided at all. It was back and forth. It was like, it it was like impressive. Like they'd stop us one play, like stuff us, and then the next play, thirty yards out. Yeah, we're we have an explosive, and it just went back and forth the whole day. That's awesome, dude. That makes it so much more fun. Like we're starting to we're starting to find that, and we do a we always you know do a team like a team period at the end to close out practice, and the last few weeks guys have started to kind of get the vibe of like let's get hype, and dude, it's been it's been fun. It's been really fun. Those are the best practices. It's not even like, like on the field. It's like the people that aren't practicing at the time, like they're not in, that make it so much better. Yeah, so much better. Like we, like we so, had a big so play. Great. The offense goes crazy. You see like, Marcus, like the twos are in. You see Marcus running down the field because, uh, like Rara or somebody caught a deep ball. 
he's running down the field with his helmet in his hand, just like swinging and stuff. Speaking of Mississippi State, Rock Rock can play some ball. Dude, I've heard some stories here about him. I'm telling you, if, if there's if there's a contested catch, I'm taking Ra Ra. Really, he's a ball player. Yeah, he's a. From what I've heard, it he's an animal. animal. Did you see that uh, Randy Moss sent him gloves? Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that that's cool. Cool. that that's going to the man cave. So, uh, so, has everybody seen that clip when Georgia played uh, Florida? I think it was. Oh, Oh, after uh, they scored the first touchdown? I wish Coach Smart would just let us do something like that. Like, just one time. Just they, to, they scored the first touchdown. They went out. The, the whole team was in the end zone celebrating. And yeah, you remember? Ur- Urban Meyer was calling time out to try to score up the 30 next, the next year. with one The next year, they were up like 30. There was like 40 seconds left. Urban Meyer used all three of his timeouts. I met a guy at a, uh, it was like a networking event here before the season started. He was on that team. He said, so, you know, we all – like, Georgia's schedule is always the same. They always have that bye before they play Florida. That Monday of the bye, Coach Saban was like, I don't feel like this team's – I'm not Saban. I said, sir. Coach uh, Rick was like, I don't feel like this team is very connected. So he was like, next next week when we play Florida, the first time we score, if, if the sideline doesn't clear, everybody's running that next Monday. And like, they were talking about it the entire bye week, that next week going into Florida. Like, they are like, if y'all don't – if y'all don't celebrate when we score – Everybody's gonna run. Y'all are gonna pay for. It. I can't remember who the guy's name was. With was it Rennie? Curran? No, 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 not him. It was a. Uh, it was... Oh. If you watch the replay, it was No. Sean Marino that scored. Like he jumped up top and stretched out the ball. It was. It was not a like a guaranteed tie. Like it was kind of a close. Like oh yeah, you, yeah. for a half second, like did the ball cross the plane? And they're like right. that would have been a tough look if we like. Bench two or on the field, and it's like, no, it was just like short. Like, that would have been really. I wonder, like, how far would it got moved back if it wasn't a score? And, like, they would have had to, like, stop the tap. Yeah. Oh, that would have been four. a bad deal. First and goal at the 50. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how far. Like, mm. Jeez. Which, like, what do you, what was your favorite memory of the Florida Georgia game when you were here? Oh, it's easy for me. Cause I, I only went one year. I only traveled to that game one year uh, last year. Which was a different story in itself, but my half, my dad's fam, my dad's sister, uh, so my aunt is a huge Florida fan. So the coolest part for me was last year getting to give her, her husband, and my two cousins four tickets to the game, um, and have them be able to be there, and like that was something they wanted to do. So that was really cool to be able to have them have them there. Yeah. Did you did you jump in the stands after the game? Oh man. I don't think so. I did it one year. I got to do it this year. I I, I got to have to do it again this year. Uh, oh, yeah, you got to. I can't remember. remember. My biggest memory was when we scored that goal line on the goal line play. Last year? Yeah. We we, we got the D-line up out of there. And uh, that's when yeah. Brenton Cox hit broad. me, Broad, and Sid all in, like, a span of, like, 50s. Yeah. And our whole offensive line was just like surrounded up. Like <laughs> that that was definitely my favorite memory. That was fire. I remember that. That, that game's electric. I mean, it, it's a weird atmosphere because nobody's like, out there when, yeah, you're when you go to warm up. The stadium's empty, and yeah. you're like, what, like, what's going on? Like, it feels like you're playing a noon game against like, like a, like a smaller school. Like fans like aren't there, and you're like, okay, this kind of weird. Then you come back out for the like, you run out of the tunnel for the game, and it's packed. Right down the middle. That game is a blast, dude. You think they'll make it home, home, and then neutral? I I think they'll make it uh, a home, home series, just like because I feel like that's just where it's going because it's have been talked about so much. But I think it's just staying in Jacksonville. I think they're making. I think they're doing like renovations to Jacksonville Stadium, or they're making a whole new. Like, they're building a whole new stadium. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a whole new one or something. Really, so, I love the idea of it doing. Um, kind of a combination where it's like this year it's in Athens next year it's in Gainesville the next year it's in Jacksonville and it rotates between yeah. three so they, like every class gets to play in Jacksonville but it's also home and away series like it makes each game more special it's like you got one shot to play in your home you got one shot to play in Gainesville you got one shot to play it's, it makes each one that much more important like I've realized now that like yeah my game's in Sam. there's another picture um a game a uh, game in Samford it's like run it out and like you kind of realize like how special they are once you're coming to an end. It's like, yeah, I wish this game was at home, but I also think it's really cool this in Jacksonville. 
I'll never, dude, I'll never forget running right out for the Georgia Tech game last year. And, bro, like, me, Brett, Ryan, I remember, who else was it? Dom. 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 Bro, we always, like, broke down, dog. Like, broke down. Because uh, it was, like, I mean, your first, like, three and a half years, it's like, all right, this is lit. Like, let's go. And the last, like, two or three, you're like, holy cow. You, like, you realize, like, how awesome an, an opportunity that is. I'll say the one thing here. Our dude, the dog walk and stuff here, bro, is so awesome. Like, we walk through campus as part of the dog walk, and it's packed, bro. And then running out of the tunnel here is so fun. So fun. How, how long is y'all's dog walk? Probably, like, four, three or four times the size of, of y'all's. She is. It's, it's fun, though, dude. Like, it, it's awesome. Do y'all have to wear suits and stuff? So, if it's, a, if it's a morning game, we can, technically, we can do whatever. But if it's a morning game, most guys wear the, the travel suits. And then if it's afternoon or night games, most guys dress up. But it's kind of like do do whatever. Jeez, that's a long that's a long walk. Yeah, but it's a lot of it's just windy back and forth, so it's it's not bad. You can't tell this guy's trying to get my attention. I don't know, and like I don't want to make I don't want to make eye contact with him, but it's kind of weird. Dude, that uh, carry it off the Georgia Florida game. Our uh, our game here that's like that is the the Egg Bowl, and it's starting to get close, and some people are starting to talk okay. about it. We're at like five pictures right now. Sorry to interrupt you, but these people just keep taking out their phones. <laughs> I love it. Hey, speak, speaking of, dude, YouTube, we're starting to get up there. TikTok, we're getting up there. Instagrams are getting there. Things are things are rolling, oh, boys. On the up and up, man. It's blowing up. Did you take a picture of that? Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Addie seven just, Addie just spun there. around in her chair and took a picture of them while they were sitting there looking at us. That's awesome. That's good content right there. <laughs> dude, you know what I could go for right now? Some trappy fries. And raspberry ketchup. Oh, I think I think they can. Yeah. What? What is going on? Addie said she was not impressed. Oh. Did you have the raspberry? Your ketchup? own blood is saying she wasn't impressed by trapeze. Trapeze. Yes. Addie, yes. you're a psychopath. <laughs> she said you've never. Uh, <laughs> Literally, the same person. Oh my god! She said you never took her in the four years you were here. Oh yeah, yeah. So, do the. Do the burgundy dogs got any Halloween plans going on? Any team Halloween parties? Dude, that's, that's a great question. Uh, dude, I don't, I don't think we have anything, really, because we're playing, obviously. And Dude, I heard y'all didn't do the Halloween party last week. We did. We're doing it this week. That's so soft. Dude, I, I texted, so, I texted Delp and Brock and Brock, and they all said no, and I was, like, so disappointed. I texted Fitz, like, all the boys. We were all so mad. We're doing it. We're doing it, but... Smile and Pop taking it upon themselves to throw it at their house. So that's the number. That was the thing. We all wanted to do it downtown at um where, Warehouse. But they took it upon themselves to throw it at their house. Yeah, but you got to do it the Thursday on the bye week. So that you can be out all night and go work out with the boys. And I know. God. But tradition has come to a close. I forgot about that, if we're being completely honest. It's, it's changing. So I texted, yeah, I texted some of the boys from the past couple of years, and they were they were not happy. Yeah. I completely they, forgot about that now that you brought it up. Soft, soft as charming. Charming, softer than two rats pissing on cotton. It's like a tri delt pillow fight. <laughs> That's Coach Harley. Talk about these these Halloween customs we got going on right now. We got we got Zuo. <laughs> Call me the mailman. I always deliver. And what do you say? What do you say at the um, at the celebration? Is that about the X's and O's? It's about the Jimmy's and Joes. The Jimmy's and Joes. Shout out to my boy Stetson Bennett, man. Um, I'm sorry I disappointed today. Um, I went to uh, Party City in Athens, and I was really banking on them having something. And the one thing they had that would have fit me, we wouldn't have been able to post this video if I wore it. It was uh, it's like this this dirty lifeguard it was like a like a one-piece bathing suit and it like stopped like right here and like had like hair coming out of the crotch <laughs> it was, i was like i just can't wear this i'm very glad you didn't buy that thank you sir did you go to halloween city next to it is what i'm assuming i did not i didn't have time i was like i've got to i was like i've got to decide on which one 
and part we had a party city in Rome, and that was always like the go to for Halloween costumes. So I was like, okay, like they, because they have that big wall of like all the all the costumes or whatever. I was like, okay, like what do y'all have in like something that fit me? And the lady was like, well, let me go back back in the back and check. And she was like, well, we only have one thing. And I was I was sitting there waiting for like 15, 20 minutes on her to get back. So I was like, oh, like she's about to come out with like a selection. Like I was like, I'm waiting for a while. She goes back. She's like. Well, we actually only have one thing, and it's this. I was like, I've got to go. Gee, that's terrible. Yeah, I, no, I had to be at the facility. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, but I, I was I was not happy. But I, so if I wouldn't have like, uh, she's in Savannah. She's, she's out. Ah, uh, she's already down there. She's in Savannah tonight. But I was so pissed. I was like, do I go in there or not? And I was like, I don't have time. Like I literally have to go. I was so hot, but. I might have to go check it out before before this weekend. In your defense, you're a pretty large individual. I did hear that. It's not like you can just go pick up a size large and and anything, and you're yeah. good. Like I should have just gotten a morph suit. <laughs> Adam, yeah. Well, I mean, did you? I was a pack of weed gummies two years ago. A pack of what? Weed gum edibles, whatever you call them. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what they. I didn't realize that's what they were until I'd already bought the thing and I was wearing it. Until I mentioned it, I was like, ah. I found one on Amazon that was like somebody like it was like a like one of those blow up suits, but it looks like you're on Kim Jong Un's shoulders. Jeez, that would have been funny. But it I, I had one of those and I was I was on Trump's shoulders. That's what I was last year. I remember that. Yeah, that, that was that would have been funny. All right, Gody, have you seen our uh, our news segment since me and uh, Zillow started? The trench talk. The trench talk. Oh, man. All right, let me explain it to me. Let me hear it. So it's the complete opposite of the fist pump. It's something that's been not gone your way this week, like something brutal, like a struggle. Just like, yeah, like something that hasn't gone your way. So the complete opposite of what you you came up with in the uh, fist pump, but I think it kind of fit me especially since I'm kind of a negative person. <laughs> and terrible at using your phone. I, I really thought it was funny. Oh, you did call me the other day, didn't you? I, dude, I have FaceTimed you twice in like the last three days. Okay, you called me once, but that's not true. I texted you too. <laughs> no, you didn't. And you, me, and Zilo in the group chat, and Zilo was all responded to me. You did do that. <laughs> <laughs> How many notifications do you have on your phone right now that are unread? Everybody, let's let's answer that question. How many on text? I have two hundred eighteen. Jeez, I have 212. I have 11 on text phone messages. Text message. I have bro, y'all 212. But I'm in a lot of group chats, like in like coupons. I'm I have six. I'm have 15 have list phone calls. Apparently, I have like 15 on Instagram. Group me has 354. <laughs> oh, that's funny. YouTube has 140 for me. Oh, my YouTube has 7,000 emails. <laughs> no, I don't know how you guys have those banners or the, the badges on your phone. I turn all those off. I can't see I can't see that I have 7,000 emails. Oh, I started off too. That's why I does. <laughs> yeah. I have 17,000. That's a crime. Addy, what do it you have? It speaks a lot about personalities here. If you have those badges on. Okay. 40. How many do you have, Goody? One. I don't know. You, if it's like, if you get if you get past my first, like, part like page of contacts like i don't swipe down and like look for them i just text the the first row of, um my trench talk would have to be i went hunting on two tuesday and there was a a buck that was a shooter that showed up three days in a row on camera no four days in a row on camera between 755 and 805 and he was there consistently did not show up when I went, so I guess he 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 smelled me or smelled us or heard us. I don't know, but we did have one buck chase a doe around for like five minutes, so that was pretty cool. But he wasn't a shooter, so but yeah, that definitely had to be mine. I was kind of kind of upset. So like, how do you know if he's not a shooter? Uh, antler size horns. Oh, he was a, he was a younger. He's probably a year year or two away from being a shooter. Say, so, yeah, I've never been. Been fishing a couple of times, but never been hunting. So we need to get that done. That's that could be some content. Could be some content. A trench talk. I don't got one right. I'm really. 
I feel like everything's been pretty good this week for some reason. Like, that's crazy to say that, but I'm I'm blank right now. All right, I'll, I guess I'll go if you don't have one. Um, my trench talk would be, oh, bro, I so filled the gas tank up yesterday and it was a very, 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 very high number that I was not expecting. It did not, did not feel good. I did it. I did. I had to fill up yesterday too. So I'm right there with you. Yeah, it was like, it was like 298 yesterday too. Like three days ago and I waited and it was like 309 yesterday. Jeez. Yeah. I remember when it got up to like six, seven dollars at one point. I am. Bro. Remember in COVID it was like 99 cents. <laughs> I oh, was the amazing. Yeah, yes, it's, I've seen it like two fifty nine in Athens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, it's not, bad. it's not bad in Athens right now. Any of y'all have a trench talk? Yeah, I ran ten miles on Monday because I'm training for a half Why? marathon. Ooh, that sounds so, awful. It it's not fun, uh, especially when you go to physical therapy and she's like, "What's wrong with you?" I'm like, "A lot. I just ran ten miles." I'm like, "I can't feel my my toe and my." And my big foot, all this other stuff, because I got back problems. So, yeah, it's not fun. And then you get cupped, and it's very painful. And, um, yeah, so uh, my race is not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Um, there so you go. Really, really, really ramping up here. And uh, Where is it at? It's in Charlotte. Jeez, that's, that's electric. Cool. Good for you, man. So now we got the complete opposite of it. It's pump. Goaty, Goaty's original segment. This is rich and no. From can we can we get a putter over here for for old time's sake? Need it, need it. We haven't brought the putter around. Patrick is jogging. Jody, where's your putter? I'm gonna find it, brother. My, I couldn't even tell you where any of my stuff is. <laughs> hey, the putter's here. We got the putter back, Jody. You want to explain it, dude? I would be honored. All right, everybody, think about Tiger Woods thinking the putt. With the fist pump, big time moment. We're thinking about big time moments this week that were fist pump worthy for the boys. You want me to kick it off? Go for it. I got two. Number one, just being in Starkville. It's been fun. It's it's uh, I don't know. It's just been good vibes. Everybody's really super nice here. Good people. Love the coaches. Love the players. So it's been an absolute blast being here. I miss the boys. But that's my second fist pump feature is I'm back on with the board, which has been fun. Uh, so thanks for thanks for letting me join tonight. We miss you having having you around here too. It's great to have you on uh, tonight. Thanks, man. Yes, I'll. <laughs> I guess I'll go next. My fist pump is um, got to tra- take a little weekend trip to Atlanta uh, for my cousin's wedding. So congrats to them. Um, stayed in the Four Seasons. So that was that was a fun time. Uh, made very can't, poor financial. Can't hide it. Could not hide it. I, I got a discount because can't, of the wedding block. Okay, can't hide it. Mr. <laughs> Aldi Junior over here just throwing it around. <laughs> but uh, made made very poor financial decisions. But uh, the f- financial decisions is what made it more fun. So uh, it's, uh, it's okay to have a weekend like that every now and again. Uh, Linux did some damage to me. Uh, four seasons definitely did some damage to me. We call I called a uh, room service because we had dinner reservations uh, Friday night. We went to Chops, but oh. they were later. So I was like, okay, like I'm a, I'm gonna call room service get a snack, whatever. I'm hungry, but so they had the menu, but it didn't have the prices on there. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get two orders of fries, some ranch. Oh. Uh, the fries come up. The guy brings me the bill. It was fifty bucks. Mm. $50 for two orders of fries. Oh, Bro, that's a trench. Got to be shitting me. Were the fries good? Oh, they were elite. Okay. Like, giving trapeze a run for their money. Really? Like, like were they, like, made steak fries or, like, small, like... Uh, they were, like, the same... Yeah. Uh, Dude, very, that's, like, a, that's like... Those are the trips, though, that, like, you got to go into it with the mindset of, oh, hey, I'm going to... I've been saving for a little yeah. bit, knowing this yeah. weekend was going to do some damage. Yeah. So the only parking was valet. So it was that was interesting. Uh, I got out of the car and the guy like tried to take my keys from me. I was like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, I think that's that's <laughs> bizarre. Yeah, but it's definitely my fist fun future. I had a, had a great weekend this weekend. That's weekend. Mine probably be just this week. 
Uh, I really feel like we had a great week of just prepping. Um, like, feel like the mindset was there. Um, want to, you know, some some weeks it kind of gets like monotonous. Everybody don't really want to hit each other. You get tired of seeing the same people over again. It's like the that same feeling. The warm fuzzies. The warm fuzzies. Like, dude, I, I said it. Dude, I said it there. Guys, yeah, no, what are you talking about? I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, Freddie Soft. You, you got to teach about Freddie Soft. Freddie Soft. Yo, do you got time for a blind draft? Hit me with it, son. Let's go. This is personally my favorite favorite, favorite segment we do. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, here we go. Cody, we got we got blind draft this week. Last week we did candy because Halloween's coming up, but we're doing candy again this time. Last week we excluded chocolate, but this is chocolate exclusively. Okay. The Halloween exclusively candy chocolate blind draft. That was very poorly worded. Anyways, <laughs> number one, we got Hershey's cookies and cream. Yeah. It's like the bar. Ooh. One through five. Yeah, one through five. Five. Yeah. Andy. Easy. Five. I'll go four. I'm going through. No, I would want to go two. Yeah, I'm going two. Oh. Yo, you right. just disappointed me. Next up, we got Whoppers. All right, five. Boy. Oh, dang it. Four. Three. Five. All right. I know you're going you're gonna to say the one that I don't, that I hate, and it's going at five. I'll go ahead on two specific one. ones. Oh, geez. Put it horrible, four. Bobby. What? Three. One. Hey, hey. Goaty doesn't like Twix? Hold on. You don't like Twix? You're on you like the left side Twix, so I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I'll I'll go Twix at one. I'll go Twix at one. Okay, so I got one. I got, I'm gonna Twix. One three six. I got two and five. I got one, two, and five. So I got Twix one five. All right. We got Reese's, but five. The one, but the one shaped like pumpkins. Five. I hate Reese's but I There it is, Bobby. Three. Uno. Five. Uno. We're just waiting on it. From the freezer. Who know. Can't stand it. Uh, yeah. oh, three. I like the Reese's like cereal, but the uh, actual nah. I could hit you up with the heavy one. I like the cereal. Puff Reese's plus <laughs> peanut butter chocolate flavor. Yeah. Up, up, yeah. up, up. All right, rounding this out here, almond joy. Oh, yeah. four. God, uh, Bobby. I, I, I love that whole entire list you just gave me, except Whoppers. Mine, I'm one and then everything else. That's my second, but it's oh, one and then everything else. Uh, I wasted five on races. I'm perfectly through my list. Run through the list again. Uh, Let, let's see. What were the rankings? One was Twix. Two was Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Three was... I went Reese's, didn't I? Reese's at three. Four was Almond Joy. Five was Whoppers. Elite list. That is an elite list. I went elite. Twix at one. I think I went... If we're given the worst candy of all time, most overrated, most overrated candy. Have you, have you had ice cream? Made. Ice cream bar. Ice, ice cream bar is pretty good though. This is the most overrated candy bar what ever is made, and I will die on that hill. That's a Snickers for people who can't see it. Yeah, if, if Kit Kat was on there, it would definitely be my two. You're Kit not Kat, you when you're hungry. Kit up there. Um, God, Snickers just pissed me off. Almond. I had to throw it on the list. I'm a fan of all. Bobby, okay. So Bobby, what's Dark your, chocolate. Out five out of that five, Bobby. What's your number one? What's my number one out of those five? Yeah, Twix is. It's tied for Twix and Hershey's cookies and cream. I could eat a Twix all day long, but a Hershey's cookies and cream is is like, I can't eat too much of it because it'll make me sick. You can only eat cookies and cream. Is um, Hershey's is not an everyday snack, but when you do have it, it always hits. Always. You ever put a Twix in the refrigerator? Yes. Yeah. No. Elite. Addy, what's your opinion on this? See, exactly. It, it, you know, you get a little upset stummy if you eat too much of the Hershey's cookies and cream. Stummy. Yeah, I'm stummy. Stummy. Did you just say stummy? Yeah, it's stummy. No, that's <laughs> stummy. That's stummy. Blood one. That's that's great. Right. Three Musketeers is elite. Yep. Underrated. Sherman Dry. Uh, the other Babe Ruth is overrated. Babe Ruth are awful. It's over. I hate to, I hate to interrupt, but I gotta. I got to fly, boys. Kid gets hand. married, doesn't have time for us anymore. That's why we went with Jersey. Oh, we have mine, Rylan, because one, I didn't have a number 88. But also, when you were here at number 88, you were single, not single, but you weren't married. Now you're a plus one. Uh, so you're 88 plus, nine, 88 plus one. Hey, 80, 89 is the famous Charlie Warren number. If I'm, if I'm wearing 89, I'm happy with that. <laughs> boys, I appreciate you guys. Pleasure. 
Big fella. Love you. Always nice to see you. Talk to you. Yes, sir. Y'all go get the get the gators this weekend. No, we're gonna try. See you, boys. Say hey, man.